Hi, welcome to Archangel 2014. Uh, we're hosted this year at CPIT here in Christchurch and the theme of this year's project is uh, resilience in design. So uh, we had to think about building large structures that uh, performed in a, in a civic sense for almost all of their life or potentially all of their life but how would they be rapidly repurposed after an event? It was an incredibly open brief. The teams had to pick their own event, describe the sequence of events that happened afterwards and how their structure was rapidly repurposed within 48 hours to address some of those needs. This year we were lucky enough to get a keynote by Chris Hawker, University of Canterbury's operations manager who's uh, lived through these sorts of scenarios and now travels around the world telling people about the experience of Canterbury University and, and the experience of Christchurch. It was gratifying to see the concepts that Chris was describing ending up in the final project pitches from the student teams. Being here in Christchurch is a challenge from an organisational point of view, but when we're talking about good design being good engineering, there is no way you cannot host an event like this in Christchurch. We'd like to thank Wilson Hill Architects for organising the site visit to the Solid Energy Building. Both Chris Wilson, the architect, and Grant Coombs, the structural engineer, are on hand to show us some of the elements in that building where the structural engineering and the design came together, um, really fitting into the themes of the ArcEng workshop. Three years on, ArcEng just goes from strength to strength. It's a fabulous initiative. It forms part of CCANS's uh, tertiary education strategy, and it really is ahead of its time. Brands is delighted to have the opportunity to participate yet again, third year, in this uh, architectural engineer workshop. What a pleasure it is to see these youngsters working together. And let's keep our fingers crossed that architects and engineers in Christchurch today will still be in New Zealand in three years' time. Because this is a real taste of the real world, which is about working with other people to achieve predictable outcomes for their clients. Let's see how they go this afternoon. I can't wait. It's really unusual for us to not be given a pretty direct brief of what to do, so I suppose it was a bit of floundering at the beginning, but at least with an architect to go with, they're used to starting from a point of almost nothing. So I would go from big to small, and he's obviously small to big, so um, just finding that balance and I guess teaching each other a little bit about what we would usually do in our process has been quite interesting as well. The learning from each other is quite interesting. For me, like I, I didn't know what an architect did, so I just thought they drew drawings until um, Tessa just summarised it. But it's all about space, and then when she showed me how it's all done, it becomes really interesting how it's not just about how the structure stands, but how we use that space and how the space evolves through the building. If it wasn't for this, we would never meet, and you know, you wouldn't um, associate with certain type of people. But now we just, we just mix and mingle. It's great. I think I've learned a lot about um, just the way of thinking, concepts like natural life. It's so important that you just sort of neglect them as an engineer a lot of the time. I've looked at the structure different now that I've been through this experience. I will hopefully incorporate this into my future design. Working with an architect is just so new and different to what we're taught to focus on as an engineer. It's a lot more exciting actually being involved with like coming up with the building. I was actually quite surprised about how creatively like sort of minded that Vivian was. I sort of assumed that you know I would design the building and then she puts the stuff in between the walls. <laughs> but um, no, she, we actually worked together and sort of built on each other's ideas and concepts. So here at ArcEng in Christchurch, uh, it's tremendous to see the collaboration that we've got between architecture students and engineering students. Um, there's some amazing collaboration, um, some amazing solutions that they've come up with, um, just the, the thought that's gone into it, it's been really exciting to see um, and I'm really excited to see uh, the presentations that are coming up in a few hours. The prize is a bonus, but I reckon the experience and um, the maintenance you make out of it it's worth it, yeah. The exciting part is the fact that it is so open-ended. If you're coming in next year, come in with an open mind. Don't get caught up with all the calculations and don't expect to sleep the night before we finish. <laughs> I'd like all of you to give yourselves an enormous clap. Come on, because you've done great. We've been out the back, we've come to a conclusion. You all did deserve a clap, but sadly there can only be one winner. So can I please ask Vivian and Kim to come up here?
I usually go to competitions or do stuff like, and I never win. And it's been really nice to win. <laughs> My yeah. tutor would be proud. She's our structure tutor. She's the one that asked it, Don and I to come. So I think she'd be pretty, pretty, pretty happy. Yeah. So yeah. worth doing. Like it's it's definitely a, a worthwhile experience. Yeah. It's a holiday learning experience and just good time all wrapped into one. And it might be hard on the last night, but it's what worth it in the yeah. end. Yeah. Congratulations to all the teams. It's been a fantastic set of presentations this year, and uh, every single year the quality goes up and this year is no exception. It was incredibly hard to pick the winner. Congratulations to everyone. Welcome to ArcEng 2014.